And what's really crazy about it is if I touch certain spots on my nub or my little chicken wing as I like to call it, I actually feel like I'm touching my hand that isn't there. Oh, hey, did you know that I can still feel my hand even though it's not there? Why? For about 80% of amputees, we experience a phenomenon called phantom limb, where the hand or the leg that we're missing still feels like it's there. Now, the reason why I call it a phenomenon is because researchers aren't quite exactly sure what causes it. Most people think that the nerves that once ran up to our hand or foot are still firing. But the problem is that people who are born like this also feel phantom limb. All I know is it is freaking weird. And what's really crazy about it is if I touch certain spots on my nub or my little chicken wing as I like to call it, I actually feel like I'm touching my hand that isn't there. So right now it feels like I'm actually touching my pinky. And if I move over a little bit, there you go. Now it feels like it's my ring finger slash the tip of my middle finger. And if I come far to the other side, it feels like I'm touching the back part of my hand right here. It's just, it's bizarre. Now, if I try to flex and close my hand, it feels like it's just stuck. It feels like it's sitting there and I can't move it, I can't do anything about it. And once in a while, I get what I call zingers, where I get these sharp little tingly pains that shoot up into individual fingers or the entire hand. So what I do is I'll shake my nub like this and it kind of resets the nerves and just makes it so my hand is just sitting there and it's not in pain. Now, my nub is very, very sensitive. This little part right here is where all my nerves are. Just going like this, Oh, it drives me crazy. It's like nails on a chalkboard. If I were to hit this really hard, it would be like hitting your funny bone, but times a thousand. Now, something that messes with my mind all the time is when I dream. Because when I dream, I actually dream that my hand is still there, but I consciously know it's not supposed to be. So in the dream, I'll be saying something like, well, you know, my hand is missing. And then the person will be like, well, no, it's not. And I look over, my hand is there. And I'm like, what? This is not supposed to be here. I don't have a hand. Now, a lot of people think that my nub is pretty useless, but it actually is quite handy. <laughs> Like for one, in the gym, most people are hitting the speed bag. Now I can hit the speed bag pretty fast with this one, but with this one, it's like super fast. Another thing is it provides me with some sweet dance moves. When I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Show me a sign. Hear me, baby, one more time. Now I will admit that in some cases, it's Pretty freaking useless. Imagine if someone broke into my house and I was trying to intimidate him and I came out all like, hey, you get out of my house. You picked the wrong house to rob, I tell you what. Do you even know who you're dealing with? Yeah, they would probably laugh, tell me to go back to bed, take my TV anyways and say, peace. Now, because I can still feel my hand, I had a pretty awkward situation when I got out of the hospital. So my family and I, we go to this restaurant and I was just out of the hospital. So I was still getting used to this whole way of life. And the hostess comes up and says, table for how many? And instinctually I hold up my nub and I was like, for four, please. And she looks at me like, uh, for, for four, Wh what? Because it felt like I was holding up my hand and being like, for four. And I'm looking at my nub like, uh, uh, for, 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 for four, four. Good one, you moron. Meanwhile, my wife is just trying to hold it in and not bust a gut. And I'm like, thanks for your support. So yes, it's been a little bit awkward sometimes, but hey, that's just the pirate way of life. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you learned something. And the next time that you see an amputee, now you'll know a little bit of what they're going through.